What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at my most anticipated game in several years. The game is called Geronimo. I've done a couple of videos on it and I'm really trying to support these indie developers as they work towards making what is essentially my dream game. It is a VR first person shooter to tactical shooter. It's a special operations themed. It uses procedurally generated levels to deliver a brand new experience every single time you play it. And they have an attention to detail that I have not yet seen in virtual reality. I've covered it in a couple of previous videos. I'd encourage you guys to go watch those if you haven't yet got up to speed on the game. And today I wanna to get you up to date on everything that they've shared with the community over on Discord over the last couple of weeks on Geronimo. If you guys are new here and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would encourage you to do that now, especially if you're into tactical games, military simulation. Here on the channel, I like to apply real world military tactics and doctrine to digital environments. And I think Geronimo is gonna be a perfect opportunity to do just that. The first new feature that they announced is a system that's gonna allow players to shoulder their gun without that gun clipping through their shoulder as is so common in most virtual reality games. Right now, the system is still a work in progress. What it seems to do is as the player goes and presents the rifle, it pins the stock of that rifle to the crevice of the shoulder where it would be mounted. And it makes it look a little bit more realistic right now. There is still a little bit of a snap whenever that position is assumed, but it looks much better. They also demonstrated what it looks like whenever the player kneels, still very realistic. They've also promised that they're gonna get prone integrated. This demo looks phenomenal and I'm already super impressed with what I'm seeing and where the game's going. The second thing that the team demonstrated was an overhaul of the sound system. Sound, in my opinion, is probably still one of Geronimo's weaker areas. In so far as I can tell from the very limited footage that I've seen of it, I know that it is something that the team is working on. The latest overhaul does increase the realism of the sound scheme overall. It adds some weapon manipulation sounds and it also improves the sound of the firearms whenever they're actually fired. And that's a huge bonus to what we'd seen in some previous clips. Here's what it sounds like. As you can tell, there's still a little bit of popping whenever the player fires. It's still not perfect. It's certainly not AAA quality, but it's damn good. And if there's one thing I do know about VR, it's that your brain just adapts to the environment and it makes it real. So even if the graphics aren't perfect, even if it doesn't sound perfect, there's something about when you put a VR headset, and those of you who have done it before know exactly what I'm talking about, that makes it feel extremely compelling. And I can tell that Geronimo is well on the way to achieving exactly that, especially with the amount of progress they've made in such a short period of time. The next thing I wanna show with you guys is the new night vision system. What you're gonna see is green phosphorus, but there's also white phosphorus that's in development right now and the team's promised to deliver it. They've added a 3D model. So you actually reach up, you pull your nods down from that Wilcox, that Rhino mount, or whatever the case may be. And the player uses dual tube nods. They look like 15s or 31s. It's kind of hard to tell in the models that they've published so far. And now you actually see those nods like come down over your eye. It looks extremely good. Pretty cool that you get that glow from the nods themselves, from the tubes. And if you look at other players around you and they publish some pictures of this, you actually get that green glow in the eyes of the player, which is extremely interesting. Definitely adds a lot of immersion to the entire experience. I'm extremely excited to do the night ops in this map. Maybe the coolest thing that they've shown so far, and I had a conversation with the developers about this, and you know, I made some recommendations as to how they should in implement the explosive and mechanical breaching system. This is one piece of uh, advice that I offered that they actioned and essentially what they did is they modified what is typically seen in a gaming breaching system where you just take this magical explosive and you put it on a door and you push a button and it explodes and they tried to apply some realism to it so you're going to see in this clip they've got you know a little explosive lock popper style charge that charge is placed between you know the locking mechanism and the door frame and then the new thing that i've never seen in a game before is they actually now have shock tube or non-electric shock tube coming off of that charge connecting to an initiating system and then, you know, the authentic mechanics of actually pulling that initiating system, sending the flash down the shock tube to detonate the charge. This is something that's, uh, that's pretty special. And, I, and I'm really, really glad to see it implemented. This is what it looks like.
Maybe equally important to the breaching system is the lighting system. The game is procedurally generated, so while there are some bespoke levels that are handcrafted by the developers for everyone to experience, there's also an infinite number of other options where you can play the game over and over again and consistently get new level designs with new bad guy locations inside, different behaviors of the AI, and get a new experience every single time. That means lighting is critically important, especially in close quarters battle, and that's really where this game is seeking to shine. And the lighting system has to rebake the lighting for every single of those procedurally generated levels, which is no easy task. But what they're essentially doing is making it very bright outside, very dark inside structures whenever you're standing outside of them, just like in real life. What that means is it's gonna be difficult to see through windows and identify threats that might be in a structure, difficult to see through doors, especially when it's bright outside to determine what might be inside of that room. And then as you enter that room, your eyes adjust. You can see more clearly whenever you're inside the structure, but it gets extremely bright outside. You might even get some backlighting and some, you know, too much light to be able to positively identify threats. So if they nail that system, it's going to be absolutely critical. I can't wait to see it in one of the high poly, you know, really gorgeous levels that they're designing so we can see it in action. And two final updates from the latest dump of developer information. First is they're working on Grom. So we're going to see the introduction of an additional special operations faction. Pretty cool that they're going multinational. We're not just looking at U.S.-based soft. It'll be interesting to see what other factions get added. Second is a piece of kit. This one is a SIG MCX. It's a pretty phenomenal little gun. I'm excited to see it integrated into the game. Very popular as of late, especially with the U.S. Army adopting the MCX Spear as the new standard rifle across the force. And we'll culminate here with some footage from the cave system where... One of the developers is moving through this cave and actually engaging targets with the MCX. This footage is from before that sound overhaul took place. So if it sounds a little bit different, that's exactly why. If you guys want to get involved in Geronimo, make sure you head over to their Discord and join up so you can participate in the discussion leading up to the launch on the 1st of December, 2022. Also, go over to Steam. Make sure you have the game wishlisted. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, thank you for doing that now. I'm Controlled Pairs. This was Geronimo. I'll see you guys in the next one.